diagnosed in 2007 with relapsing remaining MS. Um, I, I herniated my disc at work uh, and doctors finally said, Jesus, you know, you're falling or tripping and nothing to do with the disc herniation. So eventually they did a uh, spinal tap, which hurt like hell. Uh, they did that and then uh, by November had a diagnosis of MS. And, uh, from that point on, it's been uh, a challenge. It was a shock because we didn't expect that as a diagnosis. Um, and then once you realize what it is and uh, the outcome of it, well, the more debilitating it gets over the years, is not something you look forward to. So that was uh, a big adjustment, trying to come to terms with that, to know that it was going to steadily get worse over time. I was concentrating on my health because I was um, I was upset that I couldn't do the things I used to do. Uh, you just have to be uh, brave and drive on and, and move forward and uh, do a positive attitude and that uh, makes it a lot easier. It's like night and day. The one in Arizona was uh, very dis disappointing that it did nothing for me. Uh, came back, Florida here, you know, or, Two years went by and uh, kept looking. I found uh, Stematics and uh, watched a lot of the videos and uh, talked to them. Decided I'm mean, giving it all a shot. And Stematics experience is really good. A uh, person from Stematics met me at the hotel, got me in the room, uh, got me to the first uh, hyperbaric. Uh, chamber treatment, which I'd, I've done before, but it was nothing uh, like this. The doctor and the nurses were very attentive. Uh, I, I was quite pleased with the experience. Uh, so when I had the stem cell treatment, uh, that night my speech cleared up a lot. It was amazing how good it did. His speech was better. Uh, I think his overall energy was better. Um, his hands used to shake really bad with tremors. Uh, that has greatly improved. It's almost non-noticeable. Uh, there's nothing worse than uh, not being able to do what you used to do. Uh, and now, I would just say my handshakes is good. Um, you know, I don't have much of it. If I try to do something tedious, I may eat a little bit, but it's not too bad. Before stematics, I had to remind him to take his medications, uh, remind him to eat, uh, make sure he got up and got out of bed. And then after stematics, he had more energy and was able to get up on his own. Uh, remembers to take his medications, remembers to eat. Uh, so he, he's definitely taking care of himself more and doing more than, than I have to help him with and do. So that's a big improvement. Before, it sounded like I had a mouthful of marbles. He couldn't understand me. Uh, and now my speech is probably 70, 75% better than it was. Uh, my sleeping is much better. Uh, we go to the movies more, we go out to the mall more, um, we go shopping more, which he hates. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yes, he definitely has more energy. Uh, to actually go out and do things and be more participant out. We went on a cruise in July 8th. Uh, we took my three grandkids and my daughter and her husband. Uh, and my oldest grandson, we re my wife and I renewed our vows after 27 years. Uh, it's not that painful. Uh, I, I got to walk down the aisle without using my scooter and my grandson was there. And, uh, it, it was a, a good experience. My wife wanted to go dancing one night and I don't dance, you never have. I don't like it, but uh, I went with her up to the Lido deck and I stood behind her and I guess she called dancing. I was, uh, looked like I was up to fit or something, but I uh, tried to dance. Happy wife, happy life, that is a fact. 
Uh, I think you should try it. Uh, don't ever give up. It's made a huge difference and uh, it's definitely worth the, the trip. Don't expect a miracle. Expect something to come out of it and definitely it's worth a shot. Uh, and every day is getting better and better. Uh, don't be afraid to try something. 